God's sake, Villa. Welcome to our fan cam. Leicester City 4, Aston Villa 2 at Villa Park. Absolutely terrible, you know. I'm, I'm not going to, like, butter it up and try and be positive when it's not. That was absolutely dreadful from... You know, we went 1-0 up and you're sort of thinking, OK, we're at it, we're firing, we're 1-0 up, let's just go through the motions, see the game out. Let's, let's add some goals to it. Leicester fought back with their goal. Uh, and then Villa got fortunate with their second goal. Ollie Watkins shot deflected. Terrible marking for their second goal. Third goal, absolutely tragic through ball and just carved us open and then sucker punched with the fourth and... We were bad today, like, like we were really, really bad and, and the fact that, you know, we've been positive all week, we thought that we could potentially get a good performance, keep the momentum going. Villa as a squad had that little thing that was like, can we break into that top 10? Uno Emery set us that little marker of let's go into the top 10, let's build, let's, let's keep moving forward and we bottled it absolutely bottled it yet again a familiar trait with this squad uh, that when we've got a an objective a thing that we can work towards we bottle it and it was a, an uncharacteristic performance from an Emery side but we lacked aggression we lacked drive we lacked creativity we let we just lacked so much today and they're unfamiliar things from the Emery side and, and for what we've seen, you know, I was away at St Mary's and we showed heart, courage, we battled and we showed aggression, but today we were just placid, we, we were tepid, we allowed them to be on the counter-attack, they were clinical, so fair play to Leicester, they were clinical, but we were just, we just allowed them to just walk through us at times and it was so, so frustrating to watch. I mean, you know, watching that, whatever corner and whatever stand you're watching that in, it, it's flat, it's, it, it's crap and I, I don't want to watch stuff like that. I don't want to watch Villa like that anymore and I thought that that type of performance was, was out of us and we've just shown traits of what we still can do and, and, and for me it's not good enough for Emery it's not good enough and, and the side have got to like look at themselves and think you know what we're better than this we, we can perform better than this I've said in the previews and all week and in, in previous videos that we have a, an away form and a home form and at the minute the away form is fantastic the free away wins fine but I've said as well that at home we are We've had our worst performances under Emery at home and, and again, we've still seen those similar things. Leicester, um, Leicester, we were bad today. Leeds, we were bad. Wolves, we were bad in patches. So our worst form is coming at home. When we're chasing games, when we're trying to be on the front foot, those are the areas where we look quite poor and we need to reassess and, and watch what we do. But we look like at home we can be done on the counter-attack time and time again. So... Frustrating, annoyed. Um, I was watching the game today and I was just feeling like just a bit numb at times. Like it, it's a bit flat. It's too flat for me at home. It, it's you know we we we're trying to force it too much at times. Like we probably saw from that one goal that we got that we got caught that we we're forcing it and not good today. Not good. Frustrating, but. You know, we, we're learning under Emery. We've got to keep learning. And, and okay, I guess the, the fact that we're mid-table, it enables us to have these performances where if we're shit, then we can learn from it. So I guess the only blessing from a performance like this is we are crap and we got to learn from it. So, yeah, bit a bitly frustrated. And Emery will be fuming. And, and I'm annoyed. I'm fuming. So not good enough, Villa. Not good enough at all. Let's hear what Ryan's got to say. Back that up, Ryan. Can't, mate. Can't. You've absolutely nailed it there. I can only, uh, I can only back you up, to be honest, because that was such an awful performance. Awful. We looked so off it. I was going to say defensively we looked off it, but it weren't just defensively. Midfield, up front, off it, all over the pitch. I think the only person really that didn't deserve to be on the losing team today was Emi Buendia. I think that is the, the only positive, really, I can draw from this performance. But apart from that... We looked, 
within ourselves. We looked like we were we were afraid to play at home. Like we, we, we built this game up. Project B6 had got everyone with the scars out. Before the game, there was an atmosphere building. We was up for it. We got the lead. We, we was in front, and and, and an every team. No, we never looked like. We own the no, game. No, no, even 1 0 up. It's 1 0 up, 2 1 up. It never looked like we were ever going to. No. We just looked somewhat off it today. Yeah, and le unless they got themselves back into the game and, and then you're fearing the worst end. But then again, we get ourselves in front. We, we make our own little bit of luck, a deflected goal. But again, we've got our noses in front. Leicester are 14th. They're on a run without a winning five games. That goal should have killed them. It should have killed the, the heart. It should have killed the soul. And we should have gone on and won that game comfortably. But again, we let them back in. Now, is it the high line, do you think, Luke? Because well, personally, I felt like Liverpool, time and time again, as soon as they won that ball in midfield, it was bang, bang, like, straight at us. I feel like when we're comfortable with the ball, we look, we look OK. The minute where we lose it and we're out of shape, yeah. boom, we're done. Yeah, yeah. We're done for. And, and it's just like, because we're so high, it, you're in on goal, you're in on goal, and they were taking the chances. And you, you don't have to invite people like Iniacho to score against the Villa. We pointed that out in the freaking preview, didn't we? His, his record goal scorers is against Aston Villa. Do Madison, you know, the, the informed like, player, you're I, gifting him opportunities. I'll go, I'll go back to the home and the away form. You know, away from home, we're, we're solid, yeah, we're, we're resolute, we don't give you an inch. Yeah. But the minute we're at home and we try and get on the ball and we try and be a bit expressive, when we get caught on the ball, that is the problem. Yeah, you're gifting an opportunity. Yeah. Before the game, there was a little stat that's been niggling at me and I didn't want to bring it up. And and because we're winning, we're not losing, but there's a stat where we offer big chances up. We are third from bottom from offering big chances up. And today we offered them up and we got punished and we're just struggling to find that balance between home form and away form. Away form, we're 100%, yeah. we're perfect. We've, we're set up for it. Mentality wise, we're spot on. But today, when we've got to be on the front foot, when we've got to take control yeah, being, and own being, the game and own asked, the stadium, yeah, we can't do it. We've more questions at home. Yeah. And that's the problem. And we haven't got the answers yeah. from them. We haven't got the yeah. answers from them. And we, we just, we're just struggling to dominate at home. And we were struggling to be that team on the front foot to say, Look, you're at Villa Park, you're at our gaff, we're fucking owning the place, we're having the three points today, you've got to work to get it off us. But people aren't working to get it off us, Luke. We're gifting it to them. And like, Wolves could have gone away with three, Leeds could have easily have gone away with three. Leicester today, bogey team as hell at night. They are bogey. They are our biggest bogey team ever. They've gone away with three. Liverpool went away with three. So, it's work in progress, and, and under Emery now, this is the main topic now. Yeah, home form, form is the main yeah. is the main topic now. Yeah. Oh, we go again next yeah, time. Definitely. Up the villa.